hi guys i am moving tomorrow surprise um i will fill you in on where i'm moving why i'm moving all of that later in this video so stick around for that but right now i am running a bunch of errands to prepare because i just realized that i'm moving tomorrow and i'm not prepared and there's so much that i have to do i picked up a bulk order of all of my medications that i need and then something that I didn't think about was that I had to go to like the doggy store and that's because I have I have two dogs I have like my family dog and then I I have like a dog so obviously my dog is coming with me and my family dog is staying which means that I have to like split up their toys and their food like they eat the same food they have the same treats and I just realized that I couldn't just take all the food with me that I had to go out and buy all of it I didn't buy any new toys though because I don't have the kind of money to like replenish her whole toy collection because she's a little devil and like tears them apart. I need like the heavy duty expensive ones. And so I think we're just gonna have to like split up the toys, which is sad. Anyway, now I'm on my way to get a bedspread because I don't have a bedspread. And that's that's kind of something that like I really really need so let's let's go find one hi guys I'm sorry my camera ended up dying I did get my comforter it's really cute it's like a pattern and it's green and yellow and pink and it's very much my vibes and it's really soft so I'm excited about that and I also went to the grocery store and just picked up some like essentials that are easy to transport you know Okay, so now let me fill you in on what is going on, where am I moving, all of that. So if you don't know, I currently live in Massachusetts, and I am moving to New Hampshire. Yay! Which is something I never thought I'd be doing. I always thought I'd be moving south because I hate, hate, hate the winter, but here I am moving farther north, so... It's okay, that's just where life is taking me right now. So I'm actually moving into a house that my grandparents own in the middle of nowhere, New Hampshire, because it's kind of like a family home and my whole extended family uh, kind of like uses the house. Like my great aunts and uncles and my cousins, like everybody has access uh, to the house. But right now nobody is living there full time to kind of like take care of the house and get the mail and just make sure that everything's running smoothly and I have been wanting to move out for a very long time and so things kind of just aligned where my family was like oh Morgan like we need someone to live there and take care of the house and you want to move out of your family house why don't you just move in and kind of like take over and make, thing make sure things are running smoothly and I was like oh my gosh this is wonderful because if you didn't know, I've been wanting to move out of my family home since I moved back in about a year and a half ago. Uh, that's when I hit autistic burnout. I was not doing well. I physically could not take care of myself. And so I ended up moving back home in with my family. And I mean, this is the house that I grew up in. I love it here. I love my family. Don't get me wrong. But... I need change, I need to feel like an adult, I need more independence, and the way that my house runs just is not accommodating to the needs that I have as an autistic person, and my parents have bent over backwards to try to make things more accommodating for me, and it just, it's just one of those things where no matter how hard they try it just isn't accommodating like I really just need to like remove myself from this space not because anything's wrong or anything but like for example me and my sister we're two adults and we still share a bedroom and like it's not going well because I need a lot of downtime alone time decompression time and she does not and I can't kick her out of her own room so that I can decompress like it's just things aren't running smoothly and also I just want more independence because I'm an adult and I would love to just live independently. Good morning guys it is officially moving day. I still have a lot to do I have to go and get a copy of the key made so that I have two because I misplace things a lot and then I also have to pack up like my electronics and, like my camera equipment and stuff and then I also need to pack up the car and then we're out of here <laughs> hoping to leave around noon let's see if that works out 
All right, guys, it's official. Car is packed. Got my directions on. And you say hi to everybody. And Evie is all in her little carrier. And we're ready to go. I will see you in the new house. Hello and welcome to my new room. Hi, Evie. Evie approves because there's a window right here and I'm laying on the bed and she loves to like lie down and look out the window. So this is gonna be perfect for her. All right, I have been hard at work unpacking and organizing and rearranging. I even went to the store and got some like bins and just a couple things that I needed. Let me show you the update and I'm tired and so I'm done. This is as far as it's gonna get today. So here is the closet. Um, that's Evie's crate. And then I have like storage bins and stuff full of clothes. And then up there is storage for stuff that was already here that one of my family members left. And then here's all my clothes that I need to figure out what to do with. I need more bins. I went to the store and I got this little laundry basket. Isn't it so cute? And I got this specifically because Evie loves to go into my laundry and eat it. So I needed something with a lid, I need something tall. Hopefully this will keep her out of it. And then I got a little trash can, also with a lid because of Evie. Isn't it so cute? It has little mushrooms on it. <laughs> so I got that. And then I also made a big girl purchase and I got a nightstand. This was like an investment, but it's really cute. I like it and that's it, that is the room. I am really exhausted, so I'm gonna pick this vlog back up tomorrow, so more to come. Good morning, you guys. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I did not sleep at all last night, um, and that's because Evie over here just barked at the window all night long. And obviously it scared me, <laughs> Evie. So I just wanna end the vlog talking about like moving out, gaining independence, all that kind of stuff. Um, so like I said earlier, I had been wanting to move out for a very long time. And the only thing that was holding me back was really burnout and being unsure about what I could handle um, because it's happened in the past where I go to college or I rent an apartment and things are going really well but I can't sustain that for long periods of time like I hit burnout and either I hit burnout and I'm unable to work and then I can't financially support myself anymore or I burn out and the only thing I'm able to do is work and I can't take care of myself in other areas of my life like cook for myself and bathe and take care of scheduling and stuff um, so I've lived on my own before but just every time it would kind of like crash and burn because I couldn't do it sustainably. And because of that, me and my parents both agreed that like signing a year long lease or doing anything like that would just be a really stupid decision because who knows what my needs and accommodations and burnout is gonna look like a couple months from now. And like being locked in to like a six month or a year long or two year long lease just wasn't a smart choice. So I'm so thankful that my family has this house and that nobody else is living in the house and that I get to like kind of take it over um, and live here. And it's kind of like a test run because I'm only two hours away from like my family home. And so if life starts getting difficult, I can just go home for a day, for a week, for a weekend and like regroup and have my parents help me out and then come back. Like I'm not really tied to anything here, which is super nice. And my family comes and goes from this house all the time too. So it's not like I'm totally alone. Like I think my grandparents are coming by tomorrow. Like people are always in and out. So I'm gonna have people helping me out here and there, you know? Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, there will be more like moving vlogs and videos coming your way soon about, you know, 
redoing my bedroom, making this more accommodating, just what it's like moving out in general. I'm going to be super real with you guys. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a great day. Evie, say bye to everybody.